Let us make humankind in our image, according to our likeness. So God created humankind in his image. In the image of God created he them. Male and female he created them. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. And I will establish my covenant between me and you, and your descendants after you throughout their generations, for an everlasting covenant. Lo, I am with you alway, until the end of the world. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvellous light. You have seen what I did to the Egyptians, and how I bore you on eagles' wings, and brought you to myself.
Know therefore that the Lord your God is God. He is the faithful God, keeping his covenant of love to a thousand generations of those who love him and keep his commandments. Wherefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath, to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations, for a perpetual covenant. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. Therefore he is the mediator of a new covenant, so that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance. but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God. It is evident, for the just shall live by faith. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly.